So we're going to go and actually build out Elm's nav left here. So I'm going to copy Elm's nav right entirely. Okay. And then we'll name this Elm's nav left. And we're going to go in and first thing we're going to do is rename all these files to the left side. Okay, now we're going to go back to Dreamweaver in my instance and refresh have that there. We're going to go into the info file and we're going to say this will be Elm's navigation on the left side and adds left side navigation for admins, admin Elm's instructional designer tools. Elm's is actually what it is, so let's do that. Save. You'll notice in the info file that it has a dependency of regions uh, and it puts it in the regions package. This is just for organizational purposes on the modules page. Uh, so now we'll go into the module and we'll change all the references here from Elms Nav right to Elms Nav left. Replace all. Oops. I have to do current document. So now we have home snap left, home snap save, and we'll go into JavaScript and CSS here, and we'll do basically the same thing because the namespaces have been reserved pretty well. Uh, so let's make this left, replace all in this file, and now we have everything's pushed over to the left. And you'll see the way I have the CSS structured for this is, you know, with this hashtag in front of it, so this is very focused on everything just targeting within that block area. Um, go down and we'll see, this is all floating to the right, I believe most of this theme is, quite honestly. Um, so I'm going to find areas where this is stuffed on the right, there we go. So let's just do real quick on the left, and we'll make this something hopefully obvious as to what it is color-wise, just so we can find it real quickly. Um, and we'll give this negative 200. So this is gonna say create an area, you know, through CSS, create an area that's off to the left of the screen. And it's basically the size of this, but it's kind of hidden from view. Uh, and that way we we'll click a button and it'll, you know, wind itself back in. Uh, so we've got the same types of margins and things for spacing. Um, you can look through these you know, examples and obviously they're going to change based on what you're doing. I mean, I have these menus that are hiding themselves pretty consistently, so uh, I can kind of cheat and just <laughs> copy, copy all of this over and rename you know, one value, as you can see, and at least accomplish something here. Um, so we've got that. Again, go and find all the things that reference the right side of the screen which I got this right zero, so this will actually just be left zero, and this part will be left zero, and this part will be left 200. Okay. And we have these toggles and things. Let's see what the, uh, in the CSS, make sure I have these toggles as well. Yeah, you notice I have this region toggle closed and region toggle open. Um, the way that I'm accomplishing that is I actually go and add this class of you know, regions toggle closed initially so that it closes itself automatically. And I add that in through JavaScript. That way there's there's an area in the actual uh, API, if you will, and we'll go there, uh, in the theme region. So there's a theme function here for theme regions. Uh, and then if we scroll down, you'll see there's actually a regions toggle. So it just kind of makes it an empty div container so that we can actually hijack it and do something useful with it. So I'm going to put that back up server and then we're going to see what it does.